Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. As a credit professional, you know how hard it is getting even a small thing approved, right? It often involves sifting through spreadsheets, clunky email threads, and phone calls to the team members and senior stakeholders. Microsoft Dynamics makes your work easy by streamlining the credit and collection workflows within your organization. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how the credit and collections workflow will benefit credit analysts as well as how to configure some necessary steps before beginning to use workflows. Let's get started. In Microsoft Dynamics, there are three main types of workflows under the credit and collections module. Let's take a deeper dive into what these workflows do and where they are relevant within credit management. First, let's understand the credit management release workflow. This workflow is used for the approval process. When a sales order credit limit is exceeded, the order is placed on hold and sent to credit management for approval or rejection. Next is credit limit adjustment workflow. This workflow is used in the overall journal approval process. In simple words, it is used to increase or decrease a customer's credit limit. Last one is the credit limit adjustment line workflow. This works as a sub-workflow in the Credit Limit Adjustment Journal form, but on the line level. It also allows for additional granularity for the approvals at the line level. Awesome! Now that we have understood what these workflows do, let's take a practical look at these. To access the workflows, go to the Modules or Menu option, navigate to the Credit and Collections section, go to Setup, and then click on Credit Management Workflows. Each of the three workflows will be available under the Credit Management Workflow section. But before we begin using these workflows, we must set up a couple of things first. The first one is a sales order hold for a customer. When a credit limit is exceeded, we can choose which level of the sales order to hold and send it to Credit Management for the workflow approval procedure. To set it up, go to the Credit and Collections module and click on Credit and Collections parameters under Setup then select Credit. Here, mark confirmation on the posting column in the Credit Management Checkpoint section. If the credit limit for the sales order is exceeded, it will be sent to the Credit and Collections module for approval. Remember, the sales order will be processed until we modify the customer's credit limit or the client makes a payment. The next setup we need to do is the Customer Management Reasons which can be accessed by navigating to the Credit and Collections module and selecting Credit Management Reasons from the Credit Management Setup menu. Here, we need Reason Good to approve or reject a sales order. Choose the Release option to release a sales order. Choose the Hold or Blocked option to hold or reject the approval process. You can make your own Reason Goods according to your requirements. So, that's all for today's tutorial. I hope you were able to understand the three workflows and the setup that we need to do before using these workflows. In the next tutorial, we will see how an approval process works with an example. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Stay tuned for more.